And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. The show has an NL East matchup. The Atlanta Braves and the Washington Nationals. First pitch coming your way next. Just about set to go. And today's starting pitcher, Mason Thompson. He really relies on working down in the zone with that heavy sinker he's got. You know, it's not as popular there to throw that pitch uh, today as it used to be because you know, guys are looking to hit balls down in the zone, get them up in the air. It's very important for him when facing same side hitters to be able to get it in, especially early in the count, and to opposite guys be able to throw it at that front hip and run it over the inside corner. Ronald Acuna Jr. in the box now. No balls and a strike. One out and a runner at second. That one drilled left field. That's got a chance. Gone! His second of the year. Just like that, they move in front. It's 2-0. Chris, he's homered in back-to-back -back games now. Yep, seeing the ball well, and he's got his timing locked in. He's looking pretty dangerous at the dish right now. Power versus power right there, like two locomotives colliding. Who's going to win? Well, a really good job there by the hitter getting the top hand working. Powers that fastball out of here. And now here's a speed threat. Outfielder Stone Garrett. Good power. Not great in the OBP department. In the air, right field. Acuna there. Hauls it in for the out. Batting third. The designated hitter. Back here at the ballpark, bottom of the second. Here's Lane Thomas. Some background on Max Fried. He grew up in Los Angeles. He pitched his high school ball at Harvard Westlake. And he was teammates there with Jack Flaherty and Lucas Giolito. And that's a base hit. Off to a good start with a leadoff knock. Next to hit for the Nats, Riley Adams. And here it comes. Fly ball to right. Acuna has it sized up. Puts it away for the out. Runner on at first with one gone. And now it's Luis Garcia. Thomas at first, one gone. Three straight gold gloves for Freed in 2020, 2021, and 2022. Swing, and this one's blasted. It's got a chance. Caught just shy of the wall. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. The third baseman. And here is Ronald Acuna Jr. He's already homered in this one. He's kind of an outlier, especially when guys are consciously sacrificing contact to deliver power. First offering, misses the mark. Yeah, his swing is so good. It's in the zone a long time. He gets the barrel to it a lot, and that produces more base hits. The 1-0. -oh. Foul ball there. Singy, one of the things that's interesting is that guys really don't worry about swing and miss from an offensive standpoint anymore. So when you see somebody who contacts the ball like this, do you think of that as... Line to left. It one hops off the wall. Should be extra bases. The throw to second is offline. Man, he just absolutely turned on that one. Ripped it down the line. Nice job of staying in his mechanics. One out, runner at second. And now it's Matt Olson's turn to hit. And he's already singled in this game. The 3-2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Man, that's a tough one to take on the full count, but I guess he saw it really well. 
It's a really nice plate appearance. Here's Austin Riley. Caught looking his first time up. Here comes a 3-2. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Well, interesting. He went with the off speed and walked the hitter. Man, you got to challenge the guy with the fastball. Here's Marcelo Zuna. 0 for 1 so far. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. 3-2. Got it! Hey. Huge strikeout there. Got to give him a huge amount of credit on the mound right there. He got squeezed a little bit on the pitch right before that one. You know it should have been a strike. Everyone in the building knew that it should have been a strike, but he didn't let it get to him and throw him off his game. Came back with another good pitch for the punch out with the bases loaded. That's good pitching right there. Here is Ozzy Albies up to hit. Up the middle. Flips it. They take the force out. Third out, and that ends the frame. And the Braves will strand three. They're up to nothing. First and second, one out. Ildemaro Vargas now at the plate. He's 0 for 1. Swing and a ball popped up. Albies makes the catch for the second out. Yeah, that was a wasted RBI opportunity, but competitor like him, he is looking forward to making up for it in his next at bat. And welcome back. New inning getting started. Now in for the Braves, Ronald Acuna Jr. If you don't get ahead in the count, you can forget about having any success against him. Here comes a pitch. Check swing didn't go. And that's ball one. Swing and a line drive, base hit out of the center field. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. That pretty much split nah. the zone down the middle, and that? those are the ones where you got to make them pay. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Matt Olson up to the plate. Kicks and fires. Acuna runs. High fly ball, pretty well struck out towards right center. To the warning track, makes the catch. Throw behind the runner, and they've got him doubled off. Well, we assume it, but not all double plays are 6 4 threes or something like that. Right there, it's just sort of a combination of good defense and poor base running, and probably more of the latter. And now it's switch hitting third baseman Ildemaro Vargas. And now it's one and two. Swing and a ball popped up. That gets down for a hit. Runner around third. Acuna fires it to the plate, and he's in there as a run scores on the play. And that. And now it's Ronald Acuna Jr. Really nice swing in his last at bat. Shot a line drive into center field. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Righty to the plate. He swings and fouls one off. Two down, nobody on. Hard hit, left side. Over to Smith. They get the out on Acuna. And that is the third out. Two outs, runner at first. Joey Manessis getting ready to hit. One for three. Right side. Acuna there. And that will end the inning. So one left for Washington. And this game is still tied at two and two. And now up for Washington, Riley Adams. One down, base is empty. This one in the air right field. Acuna after it. And it's caught. And there's two away. The batter, number two, second baseman. 
Here's Ronald Acuna Jr. at the plate. And it was a homer back in the first inning that got his day started at the plate. Yeah, Boog, a two-run blast as fans were just still getting into their seats here at the ballpark. So if you showed up late to this one, you missed out on a big moment early on. The pitch. Weems, a 6-4 righty. He features a four-seam fastball, a slider, a changeup, and occasionally mixes in the slur. And the 1-0. Just off the outside edge. 2-0 count to a guy with this much pop at the dish. You better expect him to be turning on something. It's going to either get hit hard to the pull side or the fans better look out in the stance. And the pitch. Ripped on a line. And Acuna retired. And there's one down. As good as he's seeing the ball out. Jeter downs to the plate here as the Nationals are down to their final out. Two run game with two away here in the bottom of the ninth. In the air, right field. He's got it. Ball game. And the Braves take the first two games of this series on the road. Bell, a three-pitch save. This guy might feel cheated a little bit. Gets in the ball game, wants to show off his arsenal, and really didn't get that opportunity. But I think he'll take it. Whenever you can get that save and do it efficiently, he'll be ready to pitch tomorrow. And your final 4-2 for Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show. Thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chomby. Talk to you soon.